Hi my friends, good morning, or whatever time of day you happen to see this. So today, in honor of my superhero dad, who passed on a little over four months ago, it's February 20th, 2018 right now, he passed on uh, October 13th of 2017. And there's this one way of making this superfood shake. It, it helped keep him healthy for a very long time, but he had, my dad was a real plain Jane kind of guy. And he wasn't the type of person that would ever do one of these shakes, you know? It just wasn't his thing. He's just, you know, a, a typical person that grew up in the 1950s and 60s who uh, was a meat and potatoes guy. But I got him into these shakes and he loved it and it helped extend his life. Even his doctor said that he had no right to be living as long as he was and to keep drinking these shakes. So I got to keep my dad around longer in part because of these shakes and some healthy things I helped him do. So I'm just gonna take my time. This usually takes me like a minute or less to make this particular one, but I'm just gonna take my time and talk to you guys. And if you talk to me, I'll talk back and I'll answer questions and I'll show you whatever you wanna see. So, hey, good morning. People just joined me. You missed the beginning, but this will be archived on my timeline, so don't worry about it, okay? And thanks for the hearts. So, just going to start off with some uh, filtered water. Well, hello, Sharon. And my dad liked about 10 to 12 ounces. So, I got about 10 to 12 ounces in here. And uh, I almost always do the vegan. Well, I do always do the vegan, except for right now, my dad preferred the non vegan. And the only thing that made it non-vegan is that it has whey protein in it, and whey comes from dairy. I'm anti-dairy. <laughs> but when the whey protein is extra extracted from dairy, there's real health benefits to whey protein. It's all the other things in dairy that is so bad for people. So I'm not opposed to the whey protein as an isolate from dairy. So there's no a common question I get is if these superfood shakes have uh, lactose in them or anything like that. No, not, not even the non or not even the dairy one has lactose in it. It's just sim purely the whey protein and that's it. Hi, Rachel. And the vegan one doesn't have any dairy at all. Otherwise, it wouldn't be vegan. All right, so just about 10 to 12 ounces of water, a scoop of the regular chocolate superfood shake. And they both taste great. I just prefer the vegan. Uh, and the only other thing my dad would have in it is ice. So I'm going to go grab some. Just a handful of ice. Hi, Stacia. Long time no see. Hi, Denise. I hope you're all doing very well. Now, sometimes my dad would let me put a drop of cinnamon bark oil in it. Actually, I wouldn't even tell him. I just put it in, and then I'd have him taste it. Be like, "What is that? Oh, I put some cinnamon bark oil in it, Dad. Do you like it? Yeah, that's pretty good." <laughs> he didn't really talk like that. Just how he impersonated everybody with like a Pee Wee Herman voice. It's really weird. But just one drop. I will provide a link to the cinnamon bark oil, so you can see exactly what I'm using. There are certain kinds that are to be ingested and other kinds to not be ingested, so you want to make sure you get a good one. Just checking in on you, it's been a while. Morning, Dollface. I like being called Dollface. Thank you. Keeping busy, and you keep your chin up. Chin up! Even when it's heavy. Alright, so that's about it. Uh, I'll put a link to the blender that I use as well, because some blenders are much better than others. And I'd like to see you guys get a good blender, not one that's going to fall apart and not do, do the job right. Hi, Jody. Jody, I always see you log into my live feeds, but you never say anything. Even if I call out your name and say, hey, Jody, how's it going? You never, ever say anything. You should say something. Make it a first. to do the Charleston while I wait for the blender to go. Couldn't see my footwork, but they were going, man. They were going. 
I need to get a hold of you and talk about some recipes. I'm picky, but I don't do meat. Cool, Stacia. All of my videos are meatless. Can you believe it? I can certainly help with that. I think I got 110 or a little over 110 videos now on my plant-based whole food cooking channel on YouTube. So here's the final product, and then I'll talk to you guys for a few minutes. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm, delicious. It's the chocolate orgasm. The daily chocolate orgasm. So good morning, everybody. If you're just now joining me, pretty much already made this. But you know what? It, this is going to be archived, so you'll be able to see it on my timeline as soon as I finish this video. So I'm going to talk just a little bit about my dad. And for those of you that want to know about the Superfoods Shake, by the way, just private message me. I'll send you a link to the Superfoods Shake <coughs> that I've been using for many, many years. And you can check it out, see if you want to try it. I highly recommend it. I am high, uh, I am damn picky. I don't like nuts, avocado, it, no way, and tofu yak. No problem! There's, uh, well... Obviously, there's limitations there, but there's still a ton of things to choose from. And I got a ton of things on my cooking channel that don't use any of those ingredients and a ton of things that do use those ingredients. So I got you covered. That's the one cool thing about having so much volume available for you guys. I don't just have some really good quality stuff, but there's so much volume in all the recipes that I have and the videos that I've done and still doing. It's added up over time, so there's a ton of volume no matter what your stipulations are. No matter what you're interested in, or how you got to modify stuff, I probably have you covered no matter what's going on, even if you have a gluten intolerance or something really rare. Hi, Lori. Nice to see you. And hi, Kristen. Nice to see you. So I'm going to talk for a few minutes about my dad. And again, if you want to know about the superfoods blend that I've been using for many years and that my dad used while we still had him with us, I'll send it to you. I've been drinking it for many years and selling it for many years, too. You guys can look at the ingredients and see if it's something you want to try. Are you staying in Wisconsin? Yes, Laurie. I live in Wisconsin. I've been here since 1990. I like living here, but I travel a lot. I'm catching a plane here soon to go on a multi-destination trip. I fly out tomorrow morning, actually, going to Las Vegas for a few days to visit with friends and then drive across the desert with my friend Sheila to the port of San Pedro, L.A. County, where we're going to catch a cruise. Uh, Princess Cruise Lines, Ruby Princess, The Love Boat. Remember that show? And we're going to Mexico, and then back to the port of San Pedro, obviously, and then driving back across the desert to Las Vegas for a few more days with friends, and then flying back home to Wisconsin. So I'll be gone for a couple of weeks. Do I have collard green recipes? I don't remember. I think I've got one or two. Uh, so that'll be a fun trip, and I'll be sharing stuff. I'm going with an anti-aging getaway group for the cruise portion of it. So I'm going to be doing workshops and learning cool things about how to look and feel younger as you get older. Everyone wants that. I'm gonna, I promise I'm going to share everything that I learned. So subscribe, pay attention, get the notifications and all that stuff, and it'll be a lot of fun. So the superfood, uh, the superfood shake that... Hi, Kelly. So the superfood shake that I got my dad drinking many years ago... Uh, when he first uh, tried it, he uh, actually, the way that I got him on it is I just bought a bag because he wasn't the type to do shakes. So I just bought a bag and I said, Mom, Dad, both my parents, I bought the superfood shake. I, I think it might help. Just try it, please. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, they're always supportive of me. I got pretty awesome parents. Even when they're stubborn, I got awesome parents. I didn't know if they were going to try it otherwise. And I was concerned about their health, and rightfully so, because they had a lot of health problems. My dad... Well, eventually he passed on from his health problems just over four months ago. But I absolutely helped extend his life with the help of these superfood shakes. There's no question, and his doctor says that much as well. So that's how they tried it for the first time, and you know what? They ended up uh, enjoying it. And then they started getting better um, results in their health, and, you know, the lab work at the doctor's, blood tests, and things like that, blood pressure, cholesterol, my mom's, diabetes, um blood sugar levels, uh, inflammation, chronic pain, all these things improved. So my dad was like, hmm, there's something to these things. You know, my dad's a very pragmatic guy. He might be stubborn, but he's also pragmatic. So he's like, yeah, I guess I better keep drinking these. I'm like, yeah, dad, I'm so glad I introduced you to them. <laughs> so that was a daily ritual for a while. Um, uh, to drink these, and many times I'd be over here at my parents' house in the morning having a 
chocolate superfood shake with my dad. I'd make it for him. I'd make mine. We'd sit down at the kitchen table and drink it together. And it was, man, that's something I miss a lot. Holy shit. I could just... I'm going to try not to cry. I cried on earlier videos about this, but I'm going to try not to on this video. And if it does, oh well, I'm not going to worry about it. Holy shit, I really miss him a lot. We used to just sit here at the kitchen table and make him a shake. He really enjoyed it. I'd enjoyed it in the company. And my dad was always in great conversation and always made me laugh. Um, even when he told stupid pun jokes, I still laughed because they were so stupid. Dude, that's tough losing somebody like that. Um, I can't even really say that, I can't bring myself to say that he died or that he passed away or that I lost him. It's always he passed on. It's always he's physically not with us anymore. All those things. And that's part of how I'm dealing with that. So, um, and my dad was also extremely proud of me because he hated uh sales people and most of them how they would conduct themselves whether it's a telemarketer or somebody in person the high pressure the manipulation the bait and switch um but i did it differently i got into this because of the way that i was invited nobody made me feel weird when i said no that was my answer for three and a half months and that was one of the big reasons i got in is because how i was treated after i said no <laughs> and i'm like this is how i need to do this this is cool. So I've always conducted myself that way. I invite a lot of people to try this. And whenever it's no or not right now, or I'm interested, but give me time, or yes right now, it didn't matter. I would always treat people generally the same. It was always good. And so a lot of people that say no will later say yes, probably for similar reasons that I eventually said yes after saying no. So my dad was very proud of me for that, the way that I've been able to make ends meet and fund, a, a, a fund my living and so forth. So it wasn't just the nutrition from these shakes and enjoying them, but he's also very proud of me and how I do this whole thing and how I teach people that do this with me. And so I'm going to treat you the same way. And everyone watching this video, if you want to try this, let me know. I'll send you a link. You can look at it. I'll answer your questions. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that are also interested in making money, with this by helping people get healthy or connecting people to something that can help them get healthy if you'd like making money then I'll show you what I've been doing for over 10 years to do that to make money and get healthy at the same time and then it's up to you if you want to do it with me and if you decide you were gonna do it it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be very meaningful too and if you said decide not to do it then it's all cool. You're, you are more than welcome to refer people to me who you think might enjoy and benefit from something like this, too. So that's that. Stacia, you're going to get all choked up. You're going to cry. We'll cry together. It's cool. I'll cry with my friends. Shannon, welcome to the video. So uh, That's um, actually a pretty cool thing about a, a good binding friendship is if you can cry together because all of us all of us can empathize with each other like when my dad passed on it wasn't your dad but you can empathize because you know somebody that maybe you were very close to a parent a friend who passed on so you can empathize and we can all empathize with each other when we experience such tremendous loss physical loss because i still believe he's still here hi hannah Speaking of people who love these superfood shakes, Hannah is definitely one of them, and she's getting tremendous results in her health and her fitness, and she's got among the most beautiful, vibrant skin I've ever seen. And the health of your skin is symptomatic of what's going on with the health of your internal vital organs and your blood and your energy and all those things. So... Glad you're here, Hannah. Her parents were really close from each other's passing. Ugh. Yep. I hear you, Stacia. Good morning, Tom. It's been a long time. Well, hey, Wilma. It has been a long time. I just basically finished this video. Just lingering now for a little bit until I turn this thing off. But it'll be archived on my timeline. Good morning, my sweet friend. Mm, thank you, Hannah. 
And my website, as always, TomBirkenmeyer.com. Take out the space, all over case, spelled just like you see it here, TomBirkenmeyer.com. I know what I'll close on, the final talking point. So the final talking point will be all about the making money part of this whole deal. So my dad's final years for a long time, actually his last 10 years or so, I was able to be with him and spend all the time I needed to with him and my mom too for that matter because I didn't need a job anymore because I got involved in this and I took advantage of the optional home business opportunity that comes with it. So because I did that and I made an upfront investment of my time and energy to build something that's residual, that's the key thing, residual and passive, I put forth that upfront time of investment and an eagerness to learn how to do it because I didn't know how and I had time constraints and money problems, skill problems. I didn't know anything and I had no time. So I was eager to learn. But because I did that, I came to this place uh, quite a few years ago now where I had my freedom of time. And those moments when you're going to need them the most, you know, a loved one is experiencing the sunset years of their life or you just need to be where your heart needs to be and you physically need to be at the same time. You don't, the last thing you want to do is worry about how bills are going to be paid and that you have to show up at some job or some self-employed experience because self-employed people are not any more free than people with a job. The only people that have any freedom are people that are working to build passive and residual money. That's it. Without it, you're not free. And that's a big freaking deal. So when I'm with my dad at the hospital or at home, I'm able to do things with him, for him, because of him. It's because I can and I don't have to put any energy into worrying about how bills are going to be paid. And the same thing can be said about when you want to go out and have fun and go on trips and, you know, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be something somber or sad or, or whatever. It can also be for fun things too because sometimes we want to get away and not have to worry about how bills are going to be paid. So that's important, but man, those most precious moments in life, like my, my dad's final days was, uh, what was it, um, nine, I th gosh, I forget, about a week and a half, we'll say, at the hospital. I was up there two and three times every single day for about, I think it was 12 days if I remember correctly. So for 12 days, I was up there every friggin' day, several times a day. And I had not one thought about what I'm going to do to pay bills or make money or check in at some job or get this. I didn't have to worry about requesting some personal time off from a gatekeeper that could say yes or no. Can you imagine that? And that's the lifestyle that 98% of the population, 49 out of every 50 of you are living underneath that tyrannical pyramid scam. So this is the antithesis and the ultimate solution to that pyramid scam nonsense that nobody has to live under and be needy for to pay bills and eat and so forth. And those moments, man, oh my, even on my dad's last day, I was there. And man, those precious moments, you just have to be free. You're either going to be freer or you're not. And that's the truth. So I'm always going to harp on that. And I'm always going to be preaching passive and residual income. And I'm always going to be inviting you and offering you that opportunity for it so that you can emerge at some point in the future a free human being so you can be where you need to be do whatever your heart bleeds to do and that's what life is about <sighs> okay so i will harp on that in perpetuity in future videos and blog posts and so forth i just posted something on my timeline about it <laughs> so scroll up and down it and read that <laughs> I certainly got a lot of it on TomBirkenmeyer.com, just like it's spelled here on social media, TomBirkenmeyer.com. So enjoy it all, and for those of you that are interested in getting healthy and trying the superfoods shake out, let me know. And those of you that are totally interested in money and health, just private message me, I'll show you what I've been doing for a very long time now. And you can see if you want to do it with me, okay? So I love you all. Hold close to the ones that you love. Always spend the time that you need to with people that are here right now because you do not know when they're not going to be here. 
And you want to make sure that you always end every conversation on a positive note, no matter what was said, because you just don't know. Okay? So bye for now. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Rebecca. <sighs> okay. This will be on the Facebook timeline in just a minute, in case you missed all this. Bye for now. I got a lot of things to do to get ready for my multi-destination trip that I fly out for tomorrow. And yeah, got a lot of stuff to do. I haven't even started packing yet. Mwah.